this new <laughs> thing I'm going to do. Since Game Pass is just significantly better than PlayStation Plus, and this is coming from a PlayStation fan. Oh, it is. Yeah, it is better. <laughs> um, it I'm going to use Game Pass to try out games there that I can access, and if I love them enough, I'm going to buy them on Play buy them on PlayStation because I just no that makes sense because I just good I just, idea. I just prefer the PlayStation controller so much more. <laughs> yeah, and you know my dad said the exact same thing. Oh, really? Yeah, he uh, originally played, like, the PlayStation, PlayStation 2, and, like, Sega Saturn. You know, he, he comes from, like, Pong. Ooh. So he's, he's seen stuff develop at a cool rate, you know? Mm -hmm. so, um, But he was using the Xbox controller, and then he used my PlayStation controller, which I use for my PC. And nice. he preferred the PlayStation 4 controller, because it's <laughs> more comfortable, because that's what he's used yes. to. Yes, yes. But it, it is ergonomically a bit better. I think after the 360 controller... PlayStation controllers became the dominant controller. Yeah, well, they had they were way ahead of the Xbox too. I mean, yeah, yeah, I think PlayStation yeah, PlayStation One came out and they they already pretty much dominated the controller even then. And then the Xbox came out on the PS2, so it's just PlayStation was just kind of way ahead of uh, constructing the constructing the perfect controller. <laughs> and everybody had a PlayStation. Yeah, like that. Even when I was like you know kid, you'd go PlayStation, you bring your. Um, memory card which was like 8 gig which was huge for games that you take to your friend's house and you control it to play multiplayer which was split screen which is pretty awesome a joke that never gets old for me is when it says when there when there's a PlayStation exclusive like the last was part 2 and they compare it with the Xbox version and it's just nothing but a blank screen <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Yeah. I mean, they can technically do that with with Xbox. I mean, obviously they can do that with Xbox exclusive games, but I think PlayStation did that first, that joke. Yeah, I mean, like, Xbox has what is a Gears of War, which I enjoyed mm -hmm. quite a lot. Um, I haven't played the newest ones in the most recent while, which is kind of weird considering you get them on Windows for free at certain points. Mm -hmm. just, you know, you'd think by now I would download them. Um but, you know, they have that, and then, obviously, PlayStation has the likes of God of War and Last yeah. of Us in this case. Yeah. Um, it's kind of mad. I really hope Sony ups their game, their games right now, because right now, I don't know, personally, I'm very disappointed in the selection, but I'm hoping that they'll bring stuff like Twisted Metal back. That way, you know, cause I don't know. I guess, I don't know if people, uh, PlayStation fans are just kind of, really easily pleased or something like that but i really just do not care for their current formula for video games at the moment it just all seems the same they're they're all making it like the last of us the last of us kind of started this formula and i think it's good for the last of us but it doesn't need to be copied for other every other game for playstation <laughs> yeah it shows that last of us has aged perfectly and mm -hmm. has a you know, historical standing in terms of pop culture in a way again because yeah. you know it's one of those things but yeah, it's a bit like the whole Souls like situation, isn't it? Yeah. Where everybody's tried to copy it and they, they can't get the formula correct because you can't copy it, you know, to the exact micro details impossible. Yeah, let's just hope uh, Liza Pi, Liza P, <laughs> Liza Pi, Liza of uh, P and uh, Black Myth Wokon. I hope hopefully those perform very well. I think Black Myth Wokon play looks like it plays more like a modern day uh, classic God of War game, really than than Dark Souls or something like that. Hmm. Okay, I must have a look. I've been kind of out the loop in the last couple of months. Yeah, it's just uh, just the camera angle and the movement of the character just looks more like Kratos from God of War three than than something from 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 software. Oh wow! Okay, and that's a big change, like yeah. in terms of artistic viewpoint. Well, if they're going to have combat, they need to have that camera angle just right. You can't have it right up against someone like as a shooter, and that's the you know that's the problem with Ragnarok is that you got the camera so close to Kratos, and that's a view that's mainly ma that's mainly for shoot. That's why the Levine. Well, the, there we go again. The, this is why the axe works very well because you throw it. Because the camera angle's made for you to throw that axe, but when it comes to yes. melee, it doesn't feel as good because it just doesn't really work as well because you can't see anything hardly around you and you just get flanked very easily. You basically just gotta hope that the enemies are. You, you just gotta run around hoping that the enemies line up just just right. You can go in, get a hit, then you gotta start running around again. Yeah, it's like just to show all the cameras, isn't it? Yeah. That's it. That's all it is all the time. And that's why playing as a. Uh, you actually get to play as another character in Ragnarok. And that character actually works a lot better, better because 
you get to use a, a bow. And you, so you, most of your combat is shooting enemies, and it works significantly better than Kratos. Because yes. that camera, because I, I, I'm getting this from another reviewer, because he mentioned that, and I'm like, you know, that's probably the best point I've seen about Ragnarok, <laughs> is the fact that uh -huh. the camera is designed to be a shooter, not a melee game. Yeah, no, that's true. That's <clears throat> actually a good point. <clears throat> And that's probably why close combat just doesn't feel good in God of War, because like I said, it just doesn't feel like it's designed that way. It's designed for you to like throw your axe and run around. <laughs> yeah, it's more spam, run, spam, yeah. run. Yeah, and it's games that that are designed around spamming attacks, it, it, you had to get it just right. Like, Nobody Saves the World, which I'll, I'll eventually get to later on if we can, because we're, we're dragging on, on a lot of stuff right now. Um, that gameplay focuses on you spamming attacks, but it works because the gameplay is designed around that instead of God of War just kind of based, you know, just putting you in an awkward camera angle and putting you with enemies of all kinds of aggression where it's just, you know, if you don't want to take any damage, you got to perform particular and very tedious maneuvers just to get the situation perfectly to your benefit but it just becomes repetitive because most of the encounters in Ragnarok are like that but in something like Nobody Saves the World the game is designed like that and, and it's very addicting it, and I very, and I I don't think the game ever got tired because I uh, I was con you constantly had to change your tactics up tactics up a little bit because there are wards that enemies have just like in Ragnarok I mean Ragnarok enemies do have wards but it's usually just either ice um, thrust or uh, fire but in uh, nobody saves the world. You got, <clears throat> I think you have maybe four types of wards, which isn't is only one step further up. However, you have to be a lot more strategic on how you're switching it up. Uh, now, I went. I don't think I would play Nobody Saves the World to uh, without taking damage. I mean, I know I'm pretty sure there's a way, but I wasn't playing it that way to not take damage. However, I would have to look at it a little bit more because uh, you, you do have to worry about projectiles, but you get that you get a better cam camera angle of what's going on in comparison to Ragnarok, which is, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. No, 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 I get it. Yeah, that makes sense. 